Hey friends, Frankie here. Today we're going to do karaoke. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you listen to me sing. Those clips will be on Patreon along with my feet pictures. Just kidding, I don't have Patreon and neither of those are available. But I am going to try and convince you to try doing karaoke when you're in Japan or even at home if you've got karaoke places available where you live. I absolutely love doing karaoke alone. I enjoy it with friends too, but the majority of the time I go alone. Back when I was working a conventional, full-time, 9-to-5 type job, doing an hour or two a week of karaoke was essential for my sanity. Agretzko much? For me, and it seems like a lot of others too, karaoke is a great way to relax and relieve stress. I was super nervous the first time I went though, alone, so if you're an anxious human like me, I will run you through a few questions you'll probably get asked when you walk up to the front desk. I did film my front desk interaction, but you cannot hear anything because the music was so loud. Some of the loudest places in Japan are karaoke, arcades, pachinko, and Don Quixote. Anyway, if you go somewhere like Karaoke-kan, which is where I am right now, there will be a sign-in sheet up front. I usually just write my first name. Then they'll ask how long you would like a room for. You can get rooms in increments of 30 minutes, but I usually do an hour or two. One hour, Ichijikan. Two hours, Nijikan. There's also something called free time. I've done it before from like 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. You don't need to sing every second of that, of course. You can also just chill, take breaks, order food, even take naps if you want. The front desk staff usually also ask what type of machine you would like. There's Joy Sound and Live Dam. Some people love Live Dam, but personally, I always go for Joy Sound. Depending on which karaoke establishment you visit, they might also ask if you'll be smoking or not. Sometimes even if you get a non-smoking room, it will still smell like smoke though. And some places give you one drink to start while others have drink bars. There are both alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. Also just want to point out that it will be significantly cheaper if you go during the day. They hike up the prices after dinner time when people are drinking, especially on weekends. So for example, an hour on a Friday night could cost you 30 bucks, while an hour on a Wednesday afternoon could cost like $3. I know not everyone is able to go on weekday afternoons or early evenings because of work, so just know that you can also negotiate prices. You just need one thing to do that audacity. But I believe in you. Just say the other place down the street gave you a cheaper quote and see what happens. The majority of karaoke places in Japan are private rooms. You can hear other people when you're in the hallway, but once you're in the room doing your thing, you won't hear much. Once you're in the room, you can adjust the lights and use the aircon. There's a control panel on the machine itself, and you also have a couple touch pads, and you can adjust things like the mic volume, the music volume, and echo on both of those. Karaoke is also one of the best ways to learn vocabulary, in my humble opinion, for Japanese or any other language you're learning. Um, I'm not sure you would pick up grammar, but for vocabulary, it is amazing. There is, of course, a huge library of Japanese songs, but you can also search in other languages as well. There are a ton of English songs. You can even search for artists and songs in other languages using the English section. So for example, on that same tab, you can search in French, German, and Spanish, and other languages. There's also a tab called Other, and I saw some Vietnamese and Indian songs. There's also a big selection of Chinese and Korean songs. There are a few Korean songs that I like to sing as well, if you can't read Hangul, there will always be katakana above any lyrics that are not Japanese. So if you can read katakana, you've got a lot more options as well. Even for English songs, there's always katakana above the lyrics to help Japanese speakers pronounce the words. I also think that doing karaoke helps with your reading speed. The good thing about being in a private room is that if you want, you can sing the same song over and over to practice without annoying anyone. You can also restart the song if you mess up. No matter how many times I've done karaoke, I always feel a little awkward at first, and I need a few songs to warm up. I usually do an hour for lack of time, but almost every time I'm there, I wish I had done two. 
If you do have time and you want to stay longer, you can always call the front desk and ask to extend it. You can also call the front desk for drinks if there's not a drink bar. You just pick up the phone and you're automatically connected to the front desk. So yeah, do that if you need anything. Another thing I find amusing is that sometimes you get the actual music videos for the background video when you're singing, but other times it's just the most randomly wonderful b-roll footage. I don't always understand it, but I love it. If you're up for it, there's also something called Grand Prix where you can get a score for your songs. It's possible to make an account and you log into the touchpad and your score can be saved. They have this system where they show you the ranking for like the whole country and also for the city that you're in. Um, I always log in as a guest, but I really think I should make an account because why not? So after all this, I hope I've convinced you to try karaoke and even better if I've convinced you to go alone. With the private rooms, there's no pressure. It can just be a place to relax. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>